Greetings, beloved friends. As followers of Christ, we are promised abundant life and blessings beyond what we can comprehend. The Lord works all things together for good for those who love Him. Sometimes in times of waiting or struggle, it's hard to see how God is at work. But we must walk by faith, not by sight. There are signs He sends to encourage our hearts if we have ears to hear and eyes to see. This video will discuss 10 signs from God's Word that He may be preparing you for a huge blessing. Signs like peace in trials, strength for the journey, and open doors of opportunity where once there seemed to be only walls. I encourage you to open your heart as we discuss what Scripture says. And when His blessing comes as come it will, run to Him in praise for His faithfulness, mercy, and provision. Before we begin, I kindly ask that if you find this video or this channel encouraging, that you would support us by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and sharing it with others who need to hear a word of hope from the Lord. Your support helps spread the good news of God's love and blessings. May He fill your hearts with joy today and always. Now let's dive into these 10 signs from His Word. Number 1. Increased Faith One of the clearest indications that the Lord our God is working behind the scenes to bring about a tremendous blessing in your life is a strengthening of your faith. We know from His Holy Word that without faith it is impossible to please God, for whoever would draw near to Him must believe that He exists and that He rewards those who sincerely seek Him. When you find yourself trusting in the promises of Scripture more firmly each day, when prayer becomes easier and more heartfelt, when doubt and worry are being gradually replaced by hope and expectancy, this is no coincidence. Rather, it is a sure sign that the author and perfecter of our faith is cultivating your spirit to receive all that he has planned for your future. As the days go by and your confidence in an almighty, faithful God begins to deepen, you will start to view life's difficulties through an entirely different lens. Rather than fearing what may come, you now anticipate how He will work all things together for good. You no longer dwell in past failures or disappointments, but set your mind on God's superior purposes and unlimited power. When obstacles arise, you are quick to remember that all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to your Lord, and that nothing can thwart His will or stop the advancement of His kingdom. You know with full assurance that as your faith remains firmly fixed on Christ, no storm can erase your hope or cause you to waver from the truth. With such a tenacious, unwavering faith taking root in your heart, you position yourself to receive from God's storehouse of blessings like never before. As a farmer who diligently prepares the soil and plants his seeds in faith can expect a plentiful harvest, so you too will reap abundantly if you continue sowing to the Spirit through prayer, Bible study, and obedience. The deeper your trust in the one who delights to give good gifts to his children, the more open you become to receiving all he has planned. Blessings far beyond what you could ask or think according to his power at work within you. This is now beloved. Go in peace as you walk by faith and not by sight. Keep your eyes fixed on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith, and be assured that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion. The blessing coming your way may not yet be visible, but take heart. For your redemption draws near as your faith in God's faithfulness is made strong. Number 2. Unexpected Opportunities When life seems to present opportunities that come out of nowhere, it can be a sign that God is working behind the scenes to open doors for you. We may not always see His plan clearly in the moment, but we can trust that He who begins a good work in us will be faithful to complete it. Have you lately found yourself saying yes to invitations you normally would have passed up? Perhaps a new connection asked for your help with a project or an old contact got back in touch about an opportunity they think you'd be perfect for. At first glance, it may seem small and unimportant, but I found in my own journey that God often uses these little things to lead me where He needs me to go next. What's comforting is that God doesn't call us to walk through open doors alone. He goes before us, preparing the way. So when an unexpected chance presents itself, don't hesitate or second-guess the prompting in your spirit. Have courage and give it your best, even if you can't see the full picture yet. God wants to take us step by step, blessing by blessing, as we keep our eyes on Him. Remember, too, that He doesn't ask us to understand the timing in our timeline. His timetable is higher than ours. So stay faithful in each moment, in each task, no matter how small. Invest your all as working for God. Know that He sees your labors and will reward them in due season. 
Opportunities may seem insignificant now, but in his hands, they could become the very thing that changes your life's trajectory forever. Keep saying yes, my friend, and watch what God will do. Where doors open that you didn't create, have faith it's him at work. Give generously of your gifts, your strengths, your talent, your resources, and trust that he who notices even the sparrow's fall will take care of the rest. Let him lead you, let him supply all your needs, and most of all, let him prove just how big and faithful he really is. This may only be the beginning. Stay tuned for greater things to come. God bless you as you walk by faith, not by sight. May you know the peace and joy of cooperating with his plans, however unfolding. Keep the end in sight. Your surprise blessing is nearer than you think. Number three, spiritual growth. When God begins moving powerfully in your life through spiritual growth and transformation, it is often a clear sign that he has wonderful plans to bless you abundantly. Spiritual growth is a journey where we draw closer to Christ daily, becoming more loving, joyful, peaceful, and kind in our character. It is a journey where we live more consciously in God's presence and according to His perfect will. When we say yes to cooperating with the Holy Spirit's work in our lives through reading the Bible, prayer, worship, fellowship, and acts of service, this is when true growth occurs. As you make spiritual growth a priority, Devoting consistent time to deepening your relationship with Jesus, you will start to experience God's guidance and empowerment in new ways. His peace that surpasses all understanding will flood your heart and mind. You will feel deeply satisfied and filled with God's hope. A vibrant sense of life purpose will blossom within your soul. This inward transformation cultivates in you a trusting dependence on God for everything. You no longer rely on your own strength or understanding, but rather on Christ's faithfulness. As a result, God begins releasing His faith-building blessings into your outer circumstances. Breakthroughs come in arenas where you previously faced difficulty or limitation. Relationships are healed and your productivity increases. Your mindset shifts from one of scarcity to abundance as you recognize that with God, all things are possible. You see that He who did not spare His own Son will surely provide all you need as you seek His kingdom first. Matthew 6.33 by pouring your energy into serving the Lord wholeheartedly, He pours His favor out upon you richly. So if you find yourself growing spiritually in faith, hope, and love, taking Jesus at His word, know that this is not by coincidence. Our good Father is setting the stage for an outpouring of His generosity in your life. Stay alert and keep pressing on, for your blessing is surely coming. The best is truly yet to be. Number 4. Divine Connections when God is getting ready to bless you in a mighty way, you will start to notice certain divine connections happening in your life. People will start crossing your path at just the right times, who can help propel you toward your God-given destiny. The Bible tells us that God will order our steps so when a time of blessing is near, expect Him to begin guiding your footsteps towards encouragement, wisdom, and open doors. Others will be divinely lined up alongside your journey to offer kindred spirits, advice, opportunities, and cheerleading for the next level God wants to take you to. See these special people as gifts straight from heaven above. Divine connectors are sent by God Himself to give you that extra push, insight, or referral you need to break through obstacles and step into all He has planned. Lean into their counsel and assistance as they come with divine favor upon them to lift you higher. Mentors may arise who see potential in you that even you haven't realized yet. Their belief in your abilities will ignite your own faith in new ways. Trusted confidants can hold you accountable and help you brainstorm creative solutions during challenging times. Friends may open their networks, share important updates, or connect you to invaluable resources. You may also notice strangers coming across your path at the perfect moment, as if angels in disguise. Be open when divinely prompted to strike up friendly conversations. You never know how far-reaching the impact could be. These serendipitous interactions have a way of leading to doors of opportunity swinging wide. See every helpful acquaintance as evidence that God is making a way and confirming His will for your life. Each new connection paves the road ahead by joining their hand with yours on your journey together towards personal triumph. Divine guidance from above is preparing the conditions for blessing. All you must do is walk confidently forward in faith as God leads the way. Number 5. Increased Giving My friend, when we feel stirrings in our heart to be more generous with what God has provided, it is often a sign that greater things are ahead. God loves a cheerful giver, and when we give with humility and joy, 
seeking only to be a blessing to others, it opens our lives to receive God's abundance in return. The Bible tells us that God owns it all. All the cattle on a thousand hills belong to Him. We are but stewards of the resources He has entrusted to us. When we prove ourselves faithful over little, God sees our willingness to put His priorities above our own desires for comfort or security. As our hands are opened wide to help those in need, our God who sees in secret will reward us openly. Increased giving does not come from our own means or motivation, but is a prompting of the Holy Spirit within us. As we yield more fully to this gentle leading, it aligns our footsteps with God's planned pathway for blessing. Though it may seem a risk to part with what we have worked to accumulate, God promises that those who honor Him with their wealth will never lack provision in times of need. Their barns will overflow, just as the widow's jar of oil and basket of flour did not run dry as she gave all she had to Elijah. Therefore, do not view increased generosity as a loss, but as sowing seeds that cannot fail to bear abundant fruit in due season. Trust that as your trust in God's eternal care for you grows, so will the depths of blessing He pours into your life. Give freely, without reluctance or guilt, and watch with joy and wonder at what marvels God will do. For He delights to surprise His children who walk by faith with unexpected rewards far beyond what they could ask or imagine. The road of faith has strange turns, my friend, but our Father who notes each sparrow's fall knows just what is needed to mold us into the image of His beloved Son. So walk on joyfully in the light and guidance of increased giving, certain that your God goes before you to prepare amazing things ahead. This life He freely gives is rich with unexpected beauty and bounty for all who follow Him with an open hand. Number 6. Overcoming Obstacles When God has something great in store for us, He will first make sure we are properly prepared to receive His blessings. Part of that preparation process often involves allowing various obstacles and challenges into our lives. At the time, these struggles may seem overwhelming and discouraging. We may question why God would allow us to face such difficulties if He wanted good things for us. However, we must have faith that God is using each obstacle for our benefit and His glory. These trials are meant to strengthen our character and faith. Every challenge we overcome builds our perseverance and resilience. Each victory, no matter how small, increases our confidence in relying on God's strength instead of our own. As we keep striving through setbacks and don't give up hope, our determination and tenacity grows. We learn that with God's help, we can achieve things even in the face of great adversity. Our Heavenly Father uses difficulties to shape us into the people He needs us to be in order to handle His blessings. The greater the blessing, the more obstacles He may allow beforehand to spiritually fortify us. It is like a blacksmith heating and hammering metal to forge an unbreakably strong weapon. The heat of troubles molds our inner strength, just as hammer blows form outer toughness. God doesn't want anything, not even hardships, to hinder us from receiving all He has planned. So when you face challenges in your life or ministry, take heart. These struggles may feel discouraging now, but they are preparing you for a reward beyond what you can imagine. Keep relying on Jesus for endurance and persevering with faith that God is using each setback to sculpt you into who you need to be. The obstacles are only temporary, but God's blessings over your life are eternal. Stay strong in spirit and don't lose hope. Your breakthrough is coming. The joy of all God has in store for you is worth each challenge you must overcome to obtain it. Keep looking up, dear brothers and sisters. Our God is an expert craftsman and knows just how to ready us for amazing things. Trust that His hands are using all circumstances, even uneasy ones, to bring about good in our lives according to His perfect plan and timing. Stay close to Him through every trial, and you will surefly emerge from difficulties all the stronger, wiser, and better equipped to receive all He has waiting for you on the other side. These obstacles are simply preparation for promotion. The best is yet to come. Number 7. Increased Prayer My brothers and sisters, when the Lord begins working in your life to bring about a special blessing, one of the first signs may be an increased inclination to spend time in prayer. Prayer is how we communicate intimately with our Heavenly Father, sharing our hearts with Him and drawing closer to His Divine Presence. If you find yourself feeling a stronger desire to pray more often lately, take note. The Spirit of God could be stirring within your soul, readying you for what's to come. When this happens, don't ignore or resist that inner prompting. Instead, embrace it fully and pray like never before. 
Seek the Lord fervently in prayer each day, bringing your requests before Him, but also taking time simply to worship Him in adoration. Pour your heart out to your Father in heaven. Allow the Holy Spirit to comfort, teach and guide you as you spend meaningful moments dwelling in God's presence through prayer. Listen for His still, small voice and obey whatever He lays on your heart. The more time you devote to deep, earnest prayer, the more your spiritual connection with the Lord will grow. Your intimacy with Him will deepen as you draw close to His loving heart. In those prayerful encounters, be open to receiving fresh revelation from God about His plan and purposes unfolding in your life. Pay attention to any scriptures He brings to mind, or words of encouragement and wisdom He impresses on your spirit. Faithfully journal what God shows you so you can look back later and see how He was preparing you all along. As you spend time day after day communing intimately with the Lord, your faith will increase along with expectancy for answers to prayer. You will develop a sure trust that God is finalizing details behind the scenes to bring about great things. While the blessing itself may still be unknown, take heart that God is at work on your behalf. As you maintain prayerful devotion to Him through this transitional time, stay focused on Jesus with your eyes of faith. Keep obediently following wherever He leads each day, without worrying or becoming anxious about what is ahead. Walk by faith, not by sight. In His perfect timing, you will uncover the beautiful surprise He has fashioned just for you, something truly life-giving designed to glorify His great name. Remain steadfast in seeking His face until that glorious day arrives. Your faithful prayers have prepared the way for an amazing blessing from the Lord. Number 8. Positive Changes When the Lord our God begins working something magnificent in our lives, it is often preceded by subtle shifts and improvements within us. Our gracious Creator wants us fully equipped and strengthened for the good works He has planned. So if you find yourself experiencing upbeat changes recently, pay attention, as God may be readying your heart for a bounteous gift. I have witnessed that in times leading up to a plentiful provision from God, a brightness seems to permeate one's days. Tasks that dragged before now flow with ease. Once muddy thoughts transform into laser focus, where lethargy languished, sprightly zeal springs up. Rather than dread each morning, you awake bright and eager for what it may hold. A zest energizes your step and infuses your interactions with others. Alongside this increased vitality, an uncommon tranquility takes root inside. Worries that once crowded your mind lose their power and fall away. Fears that held you captive can no longer find purchase in your heart. In place of anxiety, a reassuring hush descends. You begin each moment from a reservoir of inner resolution. With this profound stillness comes an unusual patience and kindness towards your fellow travelers on this journey. Another sign that divine help is forthcoming is a lifting of burdens you once labored under. Projects that deadlocked now start moving ahead. Relationships once challenging begin to heal and restore. Problem areas that resisted solutions experience sprouts of progress. It is as though unseen hands have moved in clearing obstacles and leveling roads. With roadblocks rolled away, all feels possible. A new perspective opens where all was clouded before. Perhaps most tellingly, a deep sense of fulfillment takes up residence. Life's routines hold fresh satisfaction. Small pleasures that evaded notice now stand out. Moments fill with a rich importance they long lacked. Rather than always gazing ahead unsatisfied, you begin to appreciate what has already been given. You behold your surroundings through eyes awakened to life's profound beauty. This sincere approval of each day as it unfolds speaks of imminent munificence on the way. If you are tasting such changes lately, do not doubt their meaning. Our loving God would smooth the way before lavishing gifts. So embrace this transitional season with hope. Lean into each new energy. Let worries slip away. Cooperate with freeing your spirit. Look for openings to assist others in kind and continue walking faithfully until the fullness of God's blessing appears on your horizon, as I assure you it will in His perfect time. For He who has begun this good work in you will be faithful to complete it. Number 9. Increased Gratitude When the Lord our God is preparing special favors and gifts in your life, one of the first indicators may be a welling up of thankfulness and appreciation in your heart. As God readies to bestow tremendous beneficence upon you, he can stir your soul to focus more on counting blessings rather than burdens. Suddenly the people, provisions, and promises that have always surrounded you take on fresh new meaning. Long-standing comforts and kindnesses that may have become commonplace 
are again viewed with fresh eyes of wonder. Even through trials, a peace arises that passes understanding as gratitude softens life's jagged edges. This deepening awareness of abundant grace for each new day and each difficult way is like kindling for greater revelation of divine favor to follow. As Thanksgiving seasonally bubbles up from within, it widens your receptiveness for what is yet in store. An attitude of praise creates spaciousness for promise. Who can measure the magnitude of miracles a grateful heart will behold? Therefore, let every trouble be turned to thanksgiving as surely as every act of mercy leads to more. Brethren, dwell in this season of high gratitude, for it indicates the daylight hours of blessing are at hand when secrets of favor will be shown. Though the night seems long and hopes delayed, keep thanking God for hope itself and blessings near though unseen. The dawn breaks graciously for those who can give thanks in all things, as even present afflictions work beyond what eyes have seen or mind conceived. So open wide your hearts, dear brothers and sisters, to this expanding spirit of gratitude welling there. Greater is God's favor headed your way. I pray this message finds you dwelling deep in thankfulness, my friends, for significant breakthroughs are almost here. Keep praising, keep believing, and watch to see God's goodness overflow your life even more abundantly than before. His blessings are surely coming. Number 10. Greater Faithfulness When the Lord begins working in our lives to bring about a positive change and bestow rewards for our faith, one of the clearest indicators is a strengthening of faith and commitment within our hearts. We all journey through times of doubt, struggle, and wavering loyalty to God and His righteous ways. But as He readies us for upliftment, He fills us with renewed confidence, trust, and dedication. You may find yourself feeling more engaged during prayer and Bible study, taking solace in spiritual disciplines as never before. Rather than half-hearted attendance, your worship becomes heartfelt adoration of the Almighty. Connecting with fellow believers at church or in fellowship groups brings you comfort and encouragement on your spiritual path. Where once you were lukewarm, you now burn with passion for the Lord. In your relationships also, the softening works of God can forge greater care, empathy, and diligence. You listen attentively to loved ones, resolving conflicts with patience, understanding, and forgiveness. Loyalty to your spouse and family becomes a top priority, as do kindnesses shown to friends and those in need. Your interactions are infused with respect, compassion, and selflessness over selfish motives or actions. Likewise, your dedication to responsibilities, studies, and career pursuits waxes strong. Distractions no longer deter you from important goals and promises made. With divine aid, you find the discipline and determination to walk steadily day by day towards your objectives. Challenges arise but cannot weaken your resolve, as by faith you believe in prosperous outcome by keeping faith. Do not these changes give evidence that heavenly aid is at work in readying the soil of your heart for blessings to flower? When we embrace higher fidelity to truth and to one another, opening fully to the potency of faith, we make ourselves ready vessels for all good works. The Almighty is able to do superabundantly beyond all we ask or imagine, but first requires a yielding spirit. I encourage you to keep strong in your faithful walk, for in due time you will surely reap if you faint not. The harvest follows the husbandman's toiling, so trust in his perfect plans and provision. My brothers and sisters, if you find yourself experiencing any of the signs discussed in this video, increased spiritual hunger, open doors of opportunity, divine reminders of God's promises, take heart. Our loving Father in heaven is at work, preparing the ground for blessings yet to come. As the scripture says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Trust that even through difficult times God continues to cultivate your life, so that in His perfect timing you may bear much fruit. Stay close to Him through prayer and reading of His word. Keep your eyes open for evidence of His guiding hand and walk in obedience to His leading. The blessings He has prepared may be nearer than you think, if you found this message encouraging, please support this ministry by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and sharing it with others. Together may we lift each other up through videos like this one, and in so doing glorify our Father in heaven. God bless you all abundantly.